and welcome to UC Expo in London. I'm Rory Greener with UC Today. Today I'm joined by Faye from Cuckoo. Thank you so much for joining me today. Pleasure. Fantastic. So to start us off, could you perhaps tell us what brought you to the Expo today and some of the trends that you've noticed here? For, absolutely. So fortunately I was invited to speak at one of the uh, one of the uh, FASA chats of which I've just concluded. But equally my interest is as a merging organisation, uh, we have a lot of data needs and data management needs. So it was something I wanted to find out about a bit more uh, and what products are out there. So allow us to actually merge all our product and customer data into one data lake to manage accordingly. Fantastic. And in terms of your personal experience, what, what security considerations must a company ensure to successfully deploy digital workplace solutions, whatever they may be. Absolutely. Uh, so, from my perspective, you understand the regulations and standards that you have to comply towards. So, for example, if it's payment card information, PCI, if it's you know Ofcom regulations. Yeah. Uh, information retention rules, so seven years for accounting data. You have to really understand all of that to make sure that it's appropriate and you, and you store that information and, and, and comply with those regulations. Fantastic. And just continuing on with security, could you also tell us about how the hybrid working boom, as well as people coming back into the office, how is that affecting the entire con security considerations? Absolutely. So uh, I suppose it's all about information and data and securing it. So uh, there is a lot of tools and applications out there these days can, can prevent data loss within your organization. So you ensure that you effectively know where your data is and where it's going to. People emailing confidential information out, you can capture all of that nowadays by some of the tools that a lot of the vendors utilize to, to flag any sensitive confidential information being leaked from the organizations. And you have to make sure you, it's flagged quickly and that uh, you can prevent significant leakage from happening. Fantastic. And finally, could you perhaps discuss some of the challenges you're facing while deploying these digital workplace solutions and also how are you solving those challenges and perhaps how are some of the emerging technologies that we're seeing today? How is that helping you solve those challenges equally? Absolutely. So from, from my perspective, obviously it was quite a change and quite a significant change, mainly due to COVID. So a lot of people went from day-to-day -day office working to suddenly having to spend all their time from home. Um, and the technologies have supported that. However, it's been quite a low, steep learning curve for people. And so long as you had friendly operators that were there to support the individuals who maybe weren't quite so tech savvy, didn't quite understand the tool set, you, you then allowed them to carry on doing their jobs. Uh, what I, what, one of the objectives of any change is to ensure that adoption is, is, is had is actually completed com successfully. So if you don't get people to adopt the change, there's really no point in doing the change in the first place. So make sure there's a good plan in place to make sure that adoption is wholly, wholly uh, uh, adapted and, and included within the organization. Fantastic. Thank you so much for answering my questions. That's all I've got today. No um, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Rory Green from UC Today. Thank you so much for watching.